Hey guys, it's Jen, and I just wanted to share this layout that I created for the Allie Edwards design team. And I used Allie's messy, messy love circles for this, and um, I wanted to show you how they turned out, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to create these. So one thing I love about digital products is that you can, they're so versatile, you can size them up and down, whatever size you want, and print them yourself. Um, you can colorize them, all sorts of things. And so for these particular circles, I just put dropped some color into one half of them, and then I printed them on patterned paper. So you can see it's just a a tiny polka dot patterned paper and I think it just turned out really cool so I'm going to show you how to do that before I do I just want to mention that if you're going to print on patterned paper I would suggest using a pattern that's pretty subtle because you don't want it to overpower whatever you're printing on top so this tiny little polka dot was perfect for this and you can see um, I printed them in some other sizes I wasn't sure which I'd use, so these are some of the sizes I didn't end up using. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how I created these and how easy it really okay, is. Okay, so to create these uh, messy love circles with some color inside of them, I'm just in Adobe Photoshop. I have the CC version, which is the, the one that you just pay for monthly and you have the most up-to-date version. I think that's the way Adobe does it across the board now. So I'm just going to go ahead and open that file and I'm going to open a few different ones so I can show you. So I'll just do a bunch so that we can print out a whole bunch and get a different look. So I'm going to I'm going to choose all of the ones that are split in half because that's what works for the technique that I'm doing. And I'm opening the PNG files. So what I'm going to do is when it's open, I'm just going to go ahead and fill the top and the bottom half with color. So to do that, I'm going to choose a color. And I have some color swatches up here um, at the top right of my, um, I guess, workspace here. But you can always just go down to this little color palette down at the bottom and pick any color to work with from your from your color picker. So I'm going to just use some of these that I have up here because I like these colors. And so I'm going to choose this kind of greeny aqua color. And I'm just going to grab my paint bucket. I'm going to fill in one side. So I don't want to, the way that I did it, I made it so that the inside of the letters were white. I just liked that look. So I'm just going to pick white now. Oops. There we go, I have white, and fill in those spaces, and then I'll fill in the top with white as well. Now, you could definitely choose a different color for the top, which could be cute. So, for example, you could do the top in this coral color or, you know, whatever you think looks good. You could you could do the top in a contrasting color or a coordinating color. But the way I did it was white on top, and then a color on bottom or a color on top and white on bottom. So we've got that one done. Let's do a couple more. This time we'll do the color on the top. And just filling in all of the little spaces with white. And then we're going to drag these all onto one canvas so that we can print them out together. Okay, so now we have them all filled in. Now I am printing on my standard size printer, which is eight and a half by 11. So I'm just gonna open up a new canvas, um, eight and a half by 11. And for some reason, I usually like to have all of my windows uh, separate, so they're tiled, and so I'm, but it's not doing it automatically for me right now. I don't know why. So you can always change this by going to window, arrange, and then do float all in windows. That just makes it easier to drag and drop things. So I'm just going to drag the circles over and then I can resize them 
whatever size I want. So this is going to be an eight and a half by 11 paper. This circle will be giant on there. So I'm going to size it down pretty small and I'll do just a variety of sizes and I'm just going to minimize these as I drag them on. And if you hold down shift while you're resizing, then it won't distort the, the shape, which is good. <laughs> So what I noticed as I was making these that they seem so much um, smaller than they actually are. So if, oops, don't want to do that. There we go. Yeah, they seem so much smaller than they actually are. So just when you're resizing them, also you got to ch check it, <laughs> check the box. See how I didn't hold down shift, it distorted it, but I can just hold down shift now and then it will go back. And then click the checkbox so that you okay the resizing. Sorry that my Rad Lab is in the way there. Okay, so I'm just gonna drag the rest of these over and resize them. So I'm just going to go with these five and that's fine for me for now. So I have another piece of um, pattern paper that I'm going to print these on and it's another polka dot. It's slightly different from the one I used, but pretty much the same. Um, but like I mentioned, just choose a pattern that is pretty subtle. You could do a nice grid or a ledger would work well for this. Just kind of a subtle pattern. You can play around with it and see uh, how you like it. Um, I'm really quickly, I'm noticing on this heart U, I want this little space to be filled. So I'm going to do that real quick. Oops. You have to make sure that you have that layer selected. Otherwise, it will not work. There we go. Okay. So now I'm ready to print these off. So I'm not going to do a print and cut on my silhouette which you absolutely could do that if you wanted to. But with circles like this, they're so easy to cut out that I'm just going to print it off and hand trim them because it's super easy. So all I need to do now is print it. Okay, so here you can see them printed out. Um, I love it on the polka dot. I just think it's a really fun look. And you can see all the different colors and these coordinate really nicely. This one's really subtle. And then some of them are a little bit more bold. Um, I'm just gonna hand trim them out. I have a nice pair of scissors that is good for detail cutting and you don't have to be perfect and you can just trim around these circles really quickly so what I'll do is I'll just trim these out and then um, I can just keep them kind of in my little stash I have a little basket where I put uh, things that I either cut on my silhouette and didn't use or whatever and then I can just have this on hand for the next time that I want to uh, use something like this on a project. Okay, so here's a look at them all cut out. That seriously took me a minute to cut these out because it's just a circle, right? So they're really super fun to create and easy and it's a fun way to use pattern paper. I don't always remember to print on pattern paper, but this is a fun way to do that. Let me give you one look again at my layout that I created using some of these. And there you can see it there. So you could use these. I think it would be fun to to use even more circles than what I did. I used three because those three sentiments worked with my story. But um, these would be really fun to put all over. And I just love that you can customize whatever color you want for this. So I hope that you'll give that a try. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment um, in the video or leave a comment below, or you can head over to AllieEdwards.com or to CraftyGenscout.com. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you soon.